What's up my trendy techs, I'm Poketechers and today I'm going to be doing another awesome tutorial. If you guys remember about two days ago, no not two days ago, like two weeks ago, I showed you guys how to uh, make those sidebars using Photoscape and stuff. You don't need Photoscape, you guys can use Photoshop or whatever um, for this, but um, anyway, now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, edit those um, sidebars into your videos using Camtasia Studio. If you don't have uh, Camtasia Studio, you're going to want to go get Camtasia Studio for this tutorial. It is a $300 program, so I don't know how you're going to do it, but yeah, you're going to need it. There is ways around having to pay $300, although I cannot tell you guys because I can probably get in trouble for that. So um, yeah, once you have Camtasia Studio, I'm going to show you guys a few quick little tips that are going to make your video quality so much better. Um, I picked these up during my uh, YouTube journey or whatever you want to call it. Um, number one. Always double check your settings before you record anything. I've had times where I go straight to the record button and I have my settings messed up and I have to re-record it or something. Um, so anyway, the first thing, always check your volume levels. Make sure it's optimized to whatever you need it. Not too high, not too low. Um, do this little drop down. Make sure that the correct microphone is selected. That's very important because sometimes it'll deselect the correct mic and it'll do like another weird one. Um, if you want your system audio to be recorded, make sure it's selected here. And another tip for that, if you're recording system audio, you're going to want to have your speakers either muted or you're going to want to have headphones. The reason you do not want sound to come from your speakers into your microphone because it'll create feedback or other nasty noises. So make sure that's done. Um, after that, go to options. And this one's really important. Um, there I am. Hi, guys. <laughs> Um, go to audio settings and let me just close that. You're going to want to select where it says attributes. There's a drop down. Yours is probably going to be something else. You're going to want to have 44.100 kilohertz 16 bit mono. That is the best choice if you're doing video game commentary or any type of commentary um, that you have here with Camtasia. You can go higher than 44.100, but it's unnecessary. Um, I highly recommend that you have mono selected and not stereo, and I'll explain. Um, when you record with stereo, if you move around your head through the microphone, um, stereo will record movement, so your audience will be able to hear your your voice moving. Like if they have headphones or speakers, and it'll just your your voice will be moving around. With mono, it'll eliminate that. Even if you're moving around, it it, it just makes it so much cleaner, and you don't want your voice to be moving around um, either way. So after that, you click select, click OK. And one last thing, you want your webcam to be off or on depending on what it is that you want. Um, and uh, so now let's do uh, the next thing. Once you're getting ready to record, one thing you want to make sure, and this one I highly recommend, I've seen so many people like not do this. Um, let me just open up a ROM really fast. It's something so simple um, that so many people overlook, but it just adds so much uh, better quality to your video it's very simple you want to record as close as you can to the edge like so as possible because it you don't want that blue or white crap or whatever color your windows are on your computer to appear I've seen videos where they record like that and you can see file options cheats tools and help like cropped in half it just makes it look so much crappier and it's unnecessary you know all you gotta do is make it there to the edge as close as you can to the edge without recording any unnecessary stuff it'll work miracles for you believe me your quality your content quality is gonna be so much better and people are gonna like you because you know there it, it just makes you look lazy when it's like that um, so once you have that another awesome thing that I highly recommend if you're using uh, Visual Boy Advance to get the best quality without it being pixelated um, you're gonna want to go to options pixel filter magnification 4x and select HQ 4x it'll make your screen really large like this and it's gonna add so much better quality to the games that you're playing compared to um, the regular way um, keep in mind though that that will take a lot more power so if you have a slow computer you might not want to have that setting set up like that but that's the way I do it and it makes my video game commentaries um, and the gameplay look so much crisper um, so yeah remember options fil pix filter magnification four times HQ 4x and that's pretty much it for that. So now I'm going to actually show you guys how to uh, edit 
the slider bars using Camtasia Studio. So let me just hop back on Camtasia and I'll be right back. Alright guys, now that we have Camtasia open, um, we are ready to begin the editing of the video. So, you're probably gonna have a pop-up here, you guys probably know what to do, just close that, that's a bunch of garbage. Um, anyway, so the first thing you wanna do is import media, and you're gonna wanna navigate to wherever you have your um, sidebars, save that, I have them here, so I'm just gonna double click to import. Once you have it imported, you're gonna wanna set it down to your timeline, and it's gonna give you this pop-up here. And here, basically, what you're going to want to do, um, I always do this to get the HD, um, unclick keep aspect ratio, put the width to 1920 by uh, 1080. So, width 1920, height 1080, and then click OK. That's going to give you a perfect 1920 by 1080 window, which would give you high definition on YouTube. Um, I also recommend that you make your sidebars 1920 by 1080, uh, because um, it'll, you know... It'll uh, it'll fit perfectly here, and you won't have to like stretch it out and stuff. It'll just fit perfectly on the screen. So there you go. Um, so now that you have your sidebars in here, um, you're gonna want to stretch this out a bit to make a longer whatever uh, you whatever duration you want it to last. Um, and then you're gonna want to import your actual video. So you're gonna want to navigate to wherever your video is. I have mine here. I'm just gonna use this one, whatever. Um, and then you're gonna drag it into here. The same thing. So once that's there, you're just going to want to position it wherever you want it, like so. And, hmm, now we have a problem. As you can see, the square in the back is so much larger than the video. There's a few solutions to this. Number one, and probably the worst solution you can do, is stretch out the video all the way. That's the easiest solution, but as you can see, it just makes it stretch out. As far as quality goes, that's pretty crappy to your viewers. So you're probably not going to want to do that. If you do have that problem, I feel sorry for you. You're going to have to go back, edit your layout to whatever um, you want. And just basically the, the, the best solution to this and probably one of the easiest, uh, easiest ones other than stretching it out without losing quality is just go back. If you're using Photoshop, um, just resize the main window. Just, you know, make it from here. Go all the way here. And if you're using Photoscape or another program that you can't edit something that you already saved, then you're going to have to start from scratch. But just make sure you have this. It doesn't have to be perfectly aligned with this. You can stretch it out a little bit. Let's say you made it a little bit too wide. You can stretch it out a little bit. That's fine. But um, you don't want it to be super stretched like that. So he has a football head or, you know, that it just distorts the image. You want it to have to be as close as original as it can like that. Um, so, yeah, that's the only solutions the other solutions you can do is just leave it uh, or no not leave it um, when you record record like widescreen but that's probably the hardest way and it's probably still not gonna be the best quality to be honest um, the simplest solution like I said just resize the bottom part however way you can as close as you can as possible don't be afraid if it's still a little bit larger you can tweak this a little bit um, just so it won't be too stretched you know what I mean so anyway let's pretend that around uh, let me mute my speakers because I don't want this okay let's pretend that around here this Bulbasaur and I know people told me um, where do you go okay oh gosh it's so slow okay people told me this is an Ivysaur I made the mistake I know sorry guys but you guys get the idea right I always make mistakes like this um, this is not a Bulbasaur it's an Ivysaur but whatever it doesn't matter I'm just trying to teach you guys here not trying to make it super um, nice looking let's play um, but anyway let's say that at this point here um, at 50 seconds and 27 frames, this Bulbasaur grew to level 6. What you're going to want to do is, like I said, if you didn't watch the previous tutorial, go back, watch it. Um, I'll show you guys how to make the actual uh, layouts and the, you know, the sidebars. Um, you're going to want to make sure, uh, so once, once you want to do the switch, you're going to want to go look for the next uh, layout, the one that says um, level 6, right? So as you can see, I have template test and template test 2. Basically, this one has a Bulbasaur or Ivysaur at level 5, and this one has it at level 6. That's the only way that you can make changes at Camtasia that I know of, by actually editing the, the layout and saving it as a separate file. So you have multiple files, and um, that can get a bit tedious. I usually erase some of the old um, layouts because, you know, it, it adds up over time. But anyway... You're gonna want to do that, so you're gonna want to uh, import the next one and just drag it, drop it, 
place it and stretch it to whatever you want. As you can see, it is now level six. So now let's watch the nice clean transition. Um, and I know this is completely irrelevant, but um, let's just pretend that there's a Bulbasaur that grew to level six here. So let's just, um, and there you go. It just changes right there. So you just, uh, you know, position this part wherever you want, place the next one, slide it in. Um, like let's say if you want it right there, position it, slide it, and there you go. It'll make the change. And that's pretty much how you do that. And it doesn't only have to be levels. Um, let's say you capture another Pokemon. Just go back, edit your file, add the next Pokemon here, um, save it as a JPEG or PNG file, import it, um, and you know, drag it, drop it, and um, wherever you want it. And then it'll just right when right when it happens here, it'll happen over here. It'll switch to the next one, and you will have the next Pokemon. And it can also be badges or any other information. You can literally write a freaking paragraph right here, and you know, just anything that you want to add to it. If you want to add I don't know, a troll face. You can add a troll face on your editing program, either your Photoshop or Photoscape. Save it as a new file, import it wherever you want it, and it'll happen. Um, another cool little thing, if you want to do transitions, you can also do a transition so it's not all just, you know, level five and then boom, level six. Um, you can do like gradient wipe. So, you know, just a small example. You can see it's gonna go and, oh my gosh, my computer's lagging. Level six. Oh wow, you didn't—you weren't even able to see it, but you guys get the idea. Let me pause it so you guys can see. Right about there. Um, whatever. But you guys get the idea, and it can be any of these uh, nice transitions that Camtasia provides to you. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, another quick little tip for your audio. Your commentary—you're gonna want to set it to 500, or depending on the volume. But this is the way I do it. Don't necessarily have to do it this way. Um, set it to 500, then go to uh, enable noise removal, advance, remove clipping, remove clicks, enable volume level, custom settings. I set this to 5. I set this to, uh, sometimes I do negative 10, sometimes I do negative 15, and then this one, um, I set it to 3, like that. Or sometimes I go a little bit higher on this, like that. It just makes your sound quality so much better. Um, I you don't have to do that. That's just the way I do it and it works for me um, But yeah, that's you know, that's just a quick idea if you're having um, some issues with noise um, Especially if you have like a, a fan and stuff that you can hear you want to want to enable enable uh, the noise removal the the the, uh, the remove clipping and the remove clicks um, for the For the actual system sounds or you know the game sound you're gonna want to not have this at 500 I usually get it like around 31 and then um, here, instead of putting custom settings, I go to low volume variation and I don't enable noise removal, clipping, or clicks. Um, and that's pretty much the way I do it. So that's called ducking. You have your uh, your gameplay noises in the back and your commentary very loud in the front. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. I will be glad to answer any questions. Um, if you like this, if this was helpful, leave me a thumbs up for all the hard work. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, I will see you guys on the next one.